Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Sphere Gear Loop Puzzle. Some of you may have seen my uh, mechanism, the Sphere Gear Transmission, and that was not a puzzle. So the most logical thing is, for people who uh, like to watch my uh, channel, how do we turn this into a puzzle? Well, I believe that Sphere Gear Loop answers this question. What you see here is a thing with eight sphere gears. Those are the yellow balls uh, at the inside. I'll show you that uh, like this. I hope you can have a look at the inside. You see all these sphere gears meshing with each other. And this uh, thing, we can put it uh, like this and we can smoothly rotate the sphere gears like that. Um, you also have noticed some of the numbers here. And this is uh, a little uh, um, gear transmission and if we start rotating the sphere gears, each of these gears start turning. This blue one has 12 teeth, this blue one has 18 teeth, 15, 16 and let's continue with the other side, 21, 14, 10 and 20. And for you, those of you who know mathematics, uh, each neighbor uh, is not mutually prime. So this is a uh, puzzle because you have to align the black dots. The black dots are a bit hard to see on the blue uh, ring, but uh, uh, the 21 is solved because the two blue black dots are aligned. Same for the 14, 10, etc. So this side is solved and actually this side is solved as well. So let's start scramble it. We turn the, the sphere gears and when you turn one side, the other side doesn't turn as um, the sphere gears disengage when they are opposite from each other. So making another move and we are here like this and doing yet another move, turning and now Everything is uh, thoroughly scrambled and you have to do a lot of calculation and turning to get each of the black dots back to its original position. So finally we have a puzzle. My question to you is about the mathematical term that I used. I ha was talking about numbers that are mutually prime or not mutually prime. What does that mean? Thank you for watching.